I'm on Delia, the store, and somebody just laying in the road just got shot. The 911 calls poured in just before 8 p.m. last Thursday. We need to turn an unknown person shot 42 year old Jeremy Cherry in the leg and he was bleeding badly on Delia Avenue in West Akron. And we were very close to the scene uh, and when we responded on scene we did find an individual laying in the street. Officer Corey Sigfirth, a five year veteran, and Officer Nakoa Anderson, still in training in just one month on the job. It's being in the right place at the right time. Realized immediate life saving measures were needed. Just based on the situation, you could tell that things needed to happen quickly. Officer Sigfirth told the rookie to grab his tourniquet and put it on the victim's leg to stop the bleeding. It's a, a loop. You put it on whatever appendage is damaged and you tighten it up to stop the bleeding. The victim was close to unconscious when paramedics rushed him away from this area. The officers didn't know if their quick actions were enough to save a life. But the victim's brother tells us Jeremy continues to recover at Cleveland Clinic Akron General. What I can say, I don't know their names, but thank you. Thomas Cherry says it's hard to find the right words to express his gratitude to the officers who saved his brother's life. I'm a man, I like to shake his hand. You know what I mean? That's how I say thank you, because I'm a man. Thank you. The officers say training and that tourniquet made all the difference. His injury was life threatening. Um, there was a significant blood loss, and I believe that if the tourniquet had not been placed where it was, uh, this individual probably would have lost their life. With all, all the training we've had, I was able to act in the moment. Loop this around. The officers yeah, don't consider what they did heroic, possible. rather so part way, of the job. I, mean, I didn't get into the job for for praise or accolades or anything like that. But they are relieved. This call ended with survival rather than another family grieving. I'm glad it wasn't worse. I'm happy for the family. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. That's what you call everyday heroes, and that shooting remains under investigation, and right now police tell us they don't have any suspects.